Thank you, Lindsay. And here I am with our very own Catherine Warren for the Warren Commission. Yes. Catherine, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Peter? I'm well. I'm excited to be starting this new winter season. I and know. Looking forward to hearing what's going on in and around Teirada Mountain Village. Yeah, so I thought it was a mellow weekend as we're like kicking off the winter, and I was actually quite surprised as I put right. together my notes for the show. I mean, because I've always thought it's like, okay, there's off season, and then there's Thanksgiving, and then it goes into off season the again until again. Christmas, nope. but apparently not. Not quite. Um, on Friday night, the Mountain Munchkins, it's the uh, infant through preschool child care center up in Mountain Village. They're having their annual fundraiser, family mm -hmm. date night. That's at the conference Fun. center. 5.30, bring the whole family, get photos with Santa. The, there will be heavy appetizers and a cash bar for the adults, games, other stuff, and a screening of a kid's movie for the kiddos. Sounds good. And then, of course, a silent auction package. You could win a... I believe a pair of Wagner skis. Nice. They're so generous yeah, to our local nonprofits. Um, so again, that's at 5:30 at the conference center up in Mountain Village. And then also Friday night is opening night of the YPT Young People's Theater Middle School production, right. Once Upon a Mattress. Mm, what fun! That stars sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, and it's at 6 p.m. nightly, Friday through Sunday. The shows usually sell out by the time you go to the door, so I suggest going online to SheridanOperaHouse.com and buying your tickets in advance. Plus one of the things that I've always found to be the case with YPT Productions is you've got all the parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts and cousins all buying tickets so you kind of have to yeah you kind of have to get in there and get your ticket and it's well worthwhile those yes. productions are really superior. Yeah so is, is your daughter in the show? Not or this year not, not this, this year. one. No. Okay well it's gonna be such a fun show I've been hearing all about it from the director Leah. Um, also on Friday the uh, Telluride Fire Festival begins and it mm -hmm. runs through Sunday. We're not going to spend too much time on that festival because you've got no, Aaron yeah. and Chris we, coming we've got Aaron and, I think it's Aaron and Chris. It may be Aaron and her twin sister who okay. I met yesterday. Aaron we'll see. That's, and a guest we'll to find discuss out. Fire Fest. Um, but we're really excited about the Fire Ball that's at the top of the gondola mm -hmm. on Saturday night. And they've got a bunch of great events and free workshops yeah. around town. And then on Saturday day from um, 12 to 3 p.m. is the Telluride Historical Museum's Old Fashioned Christmas. A super fun local event, especially now that we have snow. Mm -hmm. You go out to Schmidt Ranch out on Wilson Mesa, you cut down your own tree, you make a donation to the uh, museum, and uh, I get believe a sleigh Santa's ride, there. Right? You get a sleigh ride. It's a great photo opportunity. It's now, so last, much fun. You know, I went one time when my daughter was, was young. She was like four or five, I think. And who should we see as we're driving out there but Santa Claus? Oh, he was on his way, he, too? He was walking <laughs> toward the road. We gave him a ride. <laughs> Her eyes and mouth, here he was, sitting in our front seat. <laughs> Santa Claus in, in the flesh. I'm sure that's she, great. I'm sure uh, she... She will never forget <laughs> it. <laughs> that's so great. So that's just out at Schmidt Ranch. You can go to telluridemuseum.org for directions and more information. If you need a Christmas tree, even if you don't, I'm going to go out. I don't need a Christmas mm. tree this year, it's fun. but it's so much fun. Um, and then let's see, I'm trying to read my notes now. Um, on Sunday, the Palm Theater has their holiday kickoff concert with Tessa Lark and Michael Thurber. That is at 7 p.m. Go to telluridepalm.com or .org. Google Telluride Palm and you can buy your tickets in advance. Also on Sunday is the uh, San Miguel Regional Housing Authority's Executive Director meet and greet. This is definitely geared towards the locals, but there are four candidates in the running for the Executive Director position for the Housing Authority. Uh, you guys did a wonderful feature on the Housing Authority. Yeah, we did. A, well, it was a promo, yeah. yeah, but it was a good one, I must say. It was. It was very yeah, good. Yeah. And so they do a lot of work for housing in the community. It's because of them that I have my home. Mm -hmm. And so this is a chance um, at the Liberty from 5 to 6.30 on Sunday nice. to meet the candidates and We'll see who's hired. Um, and then next week, the most important event of the entire season on Wednesday, December 11th, is Magic on the Air, a Telluride, Air. A Telluride cool. TV fundraiser. Yes, indeed. And it's, you know, there was uh, in days of yore, there was an event that uh, Telluride TV put on um, that I discontinued when I came aboard mm -hmm. because it was a lot of work and I was new and and Katie said to me, well, it's a lot of work and it didn't make any money, uh, but do you want to do it? I was like, well, let me <laughs> With see. With <that> no. <laughs> <laughs> But it was a fun event. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that this event was fun too, but I'm hopeful that it will yeah. make us some money. And we've actually got a specific dollar amount in mind that we'll Great. be putting out there because we have some specific things we really want to buy that we really need. Great. And all those other organizations like 
the museum and Mountain Munchkins and all those guys. They're great and they deserve all the support they can get. And Tyride TV, to tell you the truth, yeah. is really great too. Yeah, and, so and you guys, what I love about Tyride TV, not just because you're my friends and I come here every week, but is you do so much work to help promote the other entities and businesses we do. in town. I and think that's, that's, what, that's what we're about. That's yeah. really the mission as I see it. And uh, it's going to be a great show. We're going to be talking about that more great. on this show as well. Yeah. So I'll save, save right. some of that thunder. Save. <laughs> but tickets on sale at TyreRideTV.org yeah, um, if you just want to go buy yep. the, your tickets right Online now. Online is $35 you and includes a whole lot you'll see when you go on our website, TyreRideTV.org. Well, I'm excited for that. Great, Catherine. Yeah, Anything and that's else? it. Good. For now. Well, thank <laughs> you very much. I think you're starting the season with a, a bang. Yeah. Really nice to see you. Yeah. You're looking well. Thank you. And thank you. looking Good forward to, to having you here throughout the winter. Yeah, it's going to be a great winter. All right, everyone, now we are going to go join our very favorite local chef, the Wine Geek Food Freak, freak Wine Geek Food Freak, Patrick Legans, who's going to teach us how to cook some salmon, mm. and then an episode of Yoga with Barbara, and then we're going to see a promo on the Tayride Fire Fest before we welcome our Tayride Fire Fest <laughs> guests, so stay tuned.